What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Bonnie and this is my channel where I talk about all things lifestyle and DIY. So if you're interested in either of those, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and turn on your notifications. But today I'm going to show you guys how I made some DIY charcuterie boards using this oak board that I found at the Home Depot. So I measured the board to be 16 inches and I made a mark and my brother is going to assist me on cutting these boards because his miter saw is a little bit on the smaller side but he has a trick to be able to cut each board without having to use the table saw or the circular saw. He first taped up the board where the marks are just to make sure that the wood doesn't split. I definitely do not recommend doing this at home. Typically my miter saw has a larger blade and it's a compound miter saw so that means I can slide it forward uh, to be able to cut this piece safely. So now that I have my pieces cut, I'm going to go ahead and give this a little uniqueness. So I measured one inch in and then three inches down and then I'm going to repeat this step on the other side as well. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and take my miter saw and cut off these pieces. So this is gonna be the general shape the charcuterie board is going to be. So next I have to sand it down to make sure I get a smooth finish and then condition it and then add hardware. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and take this butcher block oil and finish and apply it to the charcuterie board using a foam brush. So I went ahead and I applied the butcher block oil and finish to every single one of these. So now I have to wait for them to dry and then I have to flip it over and apply it to the other side. I am going to apply probably three or four coats just to make sure that there is good coverage. All right guys, so it's been a couple of days and a couple of coats later for the charcuterie boards and the handles have arrived. I purchased them off of Amazon. I don't know if you can tell, but they're just plain gold bars. And then I'm also going to put these little rubber feet on the bottom of each board so that they don't slide when you place them on the countertop. So what I'm doing right now is I am adding a hole for the screw to sit into. I believe it's called countersinking, but I don't have a specific drill bit for that. So I went ahead and I used one of these drill bits and I applied tape around it so that I know where to stop without going through the actual board. And then I took a pilot hole drill bit and just went straight through the board because that is what the screw is going to go through. Now that the holes are done for the board, I can go ahead and attach the handle using the screws that it came with. So I took the screw and slid it through the underside so that the head of the screw would be able to sit into the countersunk hole that I created for it. <laughs> 